My dear Chinese food lovers, happy Lantern Festival! This is a unique festival that honors deceased ancestors on the 15th day of the first month of the lunar calendar. Traditionally, on this day, people eat small glutinous rice balls filled with fruits and nuts called yuan xiao or tang yuan in Chinese. The round shape of the balls symbolize wholeness and unity. Want to know how to make tang yuan at home? Wait no more. Let's go. For the fillings, I picked sesame. To make my life easier, I'm using sesame paste instead of sesame powder or roasted sesame. Three tablespoons of the paste. One tablespoon of melted butter. Mix evenly. The paste is hard and sticky, so we need to mix and almost dissolve the paste in the butter. Add three tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix well. At the end, spray about half a teaspoon sesame seeds for the texture. Freeze in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make the dough. One cup of、uh, glutinous rice flour, half a cup of boiling water. Add the water in batches and mix well. Then half a cup of、uh, tap water. Slowly add in the water and check the consistency of the mixture. You may need more or less water depending on the moisture of the flour. Knead into a small ball. A trick is to keep some dry rice flour handy. Just in case you need a bit more, if the dough is too soft or runny. Cover and let the dough rest in room temperature for about fifteen minutes. Take the frozen fillings out. Divide into sixteen pieces. Roll the dough out into a thin tube.
cut the dough into 16 small equal size segments. Pick one dough segment, use one finger to push one end in and form a little cup. Use a small spoon to scoop one piece of the fillings. Add the fillings into the little dough cup. Wrap up and use both hands to roll into a ball. Repeat the steps for 15 more times. If sesame is stuck on your fingers, use that finger to push the dough in so that the sesame paste stays inside. Even if some sesame paste pollutes the wraps, do not worry because it won't impact the taste. In a pot, bring enough water to a boil. Carefully add in the rice balls in one by one. Depending on how many rice balls you intend to boil at once, make sure the water is enough so all of them can float. Since it is 10 p.m. when I made the video, and I didn't have a plan to eat a heavy late night snack, I am boiling four only. After the rice balls are immersed in the water, very gently touch them. If you're not comfortable with this step, just leave them alone. Most of them will float in a few minutes. If not, you can push them gently at that time. See, that one started floating already. Once they start floating, keep boiling for another five minutes. Toss in a few goching berries for garnishment, switch off the heat, transfer three or four into a bowl. Enjoy. One last note, some fancier recipes add coconut milk or ginger ale uh, to the water for flavor. I, on the other hand, prefer just water, so my mind is focused on a delicious, nutty, soft, and chewy ball. All right, hope you enjoyed the recipe. If so, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you. Until next time, happy cooking.